Welcome back. So um, I hope you're not getting tired of me saying welcome back. I'm, you're always welcome to these videos, even if I don't say welcome. Um, number uh, this, The next exercise, number four, rewrites the Python program from task two, but put your name and age into variables called name and age respectively. You should use these variables when printing out your name and age to the screen. Okay, same program as number one, or number two. So uh, we're going to create, it said we need to create variables. So for our name and age, so we'll create a variable called name equals Michael and age equals 31 for now. Um, and now we'll print those to the screen as it asks. So we can do on two separate lines, actually, oh, it's, it's task two. So I said in task two, it needs to be two separate lines. So print, um, uh, my name is, but this time we're going to use the variable. So we'll put a comma, we'll, we'll stop the string, put a comma and put in the name of the variable with my name, which is the name variable. My name is name. And then the next one, print my age is, and the same thing, stop the string, put a comma and then put in the variable, which is age. We'll save that and run that. And there we go. My name is Michael. My age is 31. Exact same program as the task number two or exercise number two, but we use variables instead. <clears throat> I also could have done this, of course, given the escape character we saw. My name is name. I could have done uh, backslash n then to get a new line on its own. My, uh, my age is put in the age variable. This also would have worked. So just to demonstrate the difference, I'll, I'll take that out and then run it again. There we go. My name is Michael. My age is 31. Exact same output. Uh, I'll put those two examples back just so that you can see that there's actually multiple ways of doing this. There we go. And that is the solution to exercise number four. And in the next video, of course, we'll look at the solution to exercise number five.